Hey, um, let's talk about some math. So please get out your textbooks and turn to page 34. Okay, 34. We're going to be talking about adding two place decimals. So you've been adding decimals, and I know I've told you the most important part about adding decimals is making sure your place values and your places line up. So make sure you're adding ones with ones, tenths with tenths, hundredths with hundredths, right? So we're going to be talking a little bit about that, um, a little bit about mental math strategies or ways that maybe are helpful. If they're not helpful and they're more confusing, then just don't worry about them. That's my philosophy. If they are helpful, great. I think you'll probably catch on to them quick. And then we'll do a few together. We'll sh we'll see what's happening when we're adding plate when we're adding um, decimals, and we'll do a few together. We're gonna mainly be using this book just since I don't have a whiteboard and um, it'll work well this way. I, well, I do have my little whiteboard and I'll use it some when we work out some problems. But let's just start by looking at our book. So on page 34, let's look at number eight. It says add. 42 hundredths, so 0 0.42, and 9 tenths. Okay, look at your little silly guy right here. Look at his little thought bubble. Let's talk through what's happening there. He's adding this. He splits up 42 hundredths into 4 tenths and 2 hundredths. Okay? so that he can add his tenths together first before he adds on his hundredth. Okay, so let's talk through that again. He splits up 42 hundredths into four tenths and two hundredths. Now he's going to add his four tenths to his nine tenths and ignore his hundredths first. When he does that, he gets 1.3, right? That makes sense. 9 plus 4 is 13. We can't have 13 tenths. We have to trade 10 of those to make 1, 1. So we have 1.3. Okay? So that can be your mental math strategy. If you want to split your hundredths into tenths and hundredths, and add like with like, you can. If you can do that in your head, if you can say, oh, I know that 4 plus 9 is um, 1.3, and then you add on your hundredths. Well, that's easy, because you're adding, you'll just add two hundredths onto the end. So it'd be 1.32. Okay, so if you can do that, if you can split up pieces and add those pieces together in your head, then you can just add the rest later. So let's look at B. We have, oh, okay, I see what they're doing. It wants you to add 42 hundredths, so 0 0.42, and 9 hundredths. So last time we added 9 tenths, this time it wants us to add 9 hundredths. Our little guy, he needs a name. Let's call him Ed. Ed splits up again his 42 hundredths. See, this is his little, this is this next thought bubble. He splits it up into four tenths and two hundred, hundredths, just like he did before. Now, we're going to add our two hundredths with our nine hundredths. Well, what's nine plus two? It's eleven. We can't have 11 all camping out in, those, in that hundredths place, right? We can't have more than 9 in any place. So that 1 ends up in our tenths place. So, makes sense. 9 plus 2 is 11. Now we have 11 hundredths. And then we just need to add our 4 to our tenths place. So what should we get? 0 0.51. Okay, if you can't split those things up and add them in your brain, um, that's fine. We're going to just work through some of these how we would normally do it anyway, um, by, by lining things up 
by place, but if it's helpful for you to split into tenths and hundredths and then add tenths with tenths and hundredths with hundredths and then bring them back together, feel free. And you can probably do that in your head. Let's talk about the what's happening. So look at number nine. We're adding 24 hundredths and 37 hundredths. Look at this little chart. Usually this is something I would draw on the board. We're just going to look at your book. We're putting... I'll just talk through it. We're going to put all our hundredths in that place. So let's see how many hundredths are in, in this, in this um, box. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? Because 4 plus 7 is 11. But we can't have 11 in our hundredths place. So we look what he does. Takes 10, trades them in, right? Trades, <laughs> trades them in to make another tenth. Okay, so now, whereas before, right, 2 plus 3 is 5, we would have had 5 tenths, but now we're carrying our 1, and we've, and we've traded in 10 for a new tenth. So we have 6 in our tenths place, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So your answer would be 0 0.61. Okay, that's what's happening we're, we're doing what we always do when we add. We're trading in when we can to go one place up and adding one place up. So now let's just work through some of these problems on number 10. I want you to do number A on 10 and I'll do it here and then we can compare answers. So on task 10 on page 34, do A. Okay. The answer is 2.63. You probably didn't even have to write this down, right? The important thing was to remember, it just said 2. It didn't take, say 2.00 like I wrote here. It just had 2. The important part was to remember that that 2 is in our 1's place, right? It's to the Oh gosh, what do you call that? To the left of the decimal. I have to think looking at it in a mirror is not easy. Okay, so 0 0.63 plus 2.00. Okay, 2.63. I'm going to pause here and um, go ahead and do B, number 10. I've got to get my laptop charger. Um, so I will create another video for the rest of my